you've got your lightning-based iPad. You've got your audio interface. You've got your disgustingly overpriced Apple dongle. You're all set to record that absolute banger that you've been working on and this happens. Here's how to fix it. Hey, it's Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. People come to me with this problem fairly often. If you've got a lightning-based iPad or an iPhone that has a lightning port and you try to hook up an audio interface, you may run across this error message. Basically, what's happening here is the lightning port on these devices doesn't provide enough power to power the attached audio interface, or sometimes it will, but as soon as you try to use 48 volt phantom power to power a condenser mic, your audio interface will give up the ghost and you'll be treated to this lovely message. To get around this problem, you're gonna have to add a bit of extra power to the mix, and you can do this in a couple of different ways. A popular solution in the iOS music making community is to use a powered USB hub. It works like this. Make sure your powered USB hub is plugged into the mains, then attach your audio interface via its USB cable into the USB hub, then attach the USB hub to your genuine, of course, Apple camera adapter, and then plug all of that into your iOS device's lightning port. After all that, you should be off to the races. The other thing you can do is that provided you have the Apple camera connection kit, you can see on the bottom there, there is a USB input and also a lightning input, and that is to charge your device. So if you've attached your audio interface direct to the camera adapter, plug that into your iOS device and are getting this message, you can simply plug your lightning cable into the camera adapter and plug that into the mains. Now you need to make sure you're adding the right amount of power to the camera adapter. Generally speaking, the five watt plugs that used to come with iPhones aren't enough to power audio interfaces when you use that 48 volt phantom power feature. So I'd recommend using the plug that came with your iPad, if it is an iPad that you're using, or if you plan to grab a third party power brick, make sure it provides at least 12 watts of power. More is obviously going to be better though. If you want to find out more about how you can use an audio interface with your iOS device, then click right here. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye for now.